Zora, uh, when you got to uh, the zombie, I noticed you kind of left him, her or him out of this book. That was in your other book, Yes, wasn't it? well, I thought I'd said enough about the zombie. It had been talked about, and the book had come out in England, and it caused the sensation over there, too, and I'd been on We the People and talked about zombies, and I'd been out in Hollywood, and, and Arthur Hornblow hired me after reading my book, uh, Tell My Horse, and I talked about zombies so much out there, and the set woosh, and... Well, I and never heard you talk about them, did you, Vincent? No, I haven't. Talk about the zombie just a wee little bit. Yeah. Well, a zombie is supposed to be the living dead. Uh, people who die and are resurrected, and, but without their souls. And they can take orders, and they're supposed to be never to be tired, and to do what the master says uh, without uh, cease and uh, without being tired. Uh, uh, I, uh, naturally, it would be uh, futile for me to attempt to try to explain everything. Uh, I do know that people have been resurrected in Haiti. I do not believe that they were actually dead. I believe that it was suspended animation. And since there's no embalming there, it's possible. And since people are not buried below ground, they have the above ground vaults as they do in New Orleans. And uh, they take uh, corpses out. It's been proven, there have been cases proven where folks have been dead and folks uh, thought they were done for. And months later, somebody finds them somewhere in some hidden place, actually alive, but without their mind. And uh, the process is that the uh, Boca, you know, they have two kinds of priests in Haiti. The Hungon, which is a regular voodoo priest, and then the Boca, who is supposed to be a wicked priest. It is stated that a Hungon is not a Boca, and a Boca is not a Hungon. However, uh, one and the same person sometimes acts the same. So that uh, you have to take that with a sort of box of salt about one of them <laughs> not being the same. But anyway, uh, they know some. They go and awaken the person from the grave, and the uh, society does more. The society of the dead goes with him, and they surround this tomb at midnight with their lights. And the Boca goes inside, and uh, with a supposedly the soul of the dead man in his hand. Some say some Boca say they carried in a bottle. Others say they carried in his hand, and they began to to strike this uh, dead body, to wake him up, and at the same time holding his soul on his nose. And he must answer, because his soul is there. And so he answers, and when he begins to stir, they handcuff him so that he can't resist. And then they beat him and beat him, and finally wake him up thoroughly. And he's carried in the center and the, of this society of the dead, and they must march him past his house where he lived, because if they don't, he will regain his consciousness someday. But if they carry him past the house where he lives, he will never remember again who he was or where he lived or anything. He will just be an animated person. And maybe he's taken to some distant plantation and put to work. And his relatives think that the person... But before that, he goes to the Hoon Fort. That is the voodoo temple. And there he's given uh, a drop or two of a colorless liquid and uh, in the course of a ceremony, and he will never remember again. Of course, they never give them salt. They claim that salt will tend to counteract that, and they will remember who they are. And this particular zombie, whom I photograph, whom I think I'm the first person on Earth, and probably the last one to ever photograph a zombie, she had died in 1907, and nobody saw her anymore until 1936, when she was found naked on a road. But she remembered a little. She remembered where she used to live, and she went to this plantation that used to be her father's, which was now her brother's. She was identified by her brother, her ex-husband, her son, who was now grown. He was two or three years old when she died in uh, 1907, and she was identified, and she was officially identified by the Haitian government, and that was all the records of her death and her burial, and I photographed her in 1936. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and in Haiti. The picture was published first in Life magazine and is in this book here, Tell My Horse, the picture of the zombie. See, I've never read Tell My Horse. That's why I d didn't know it. Yes. I, I... Zombies do exist, but whether, I mean, the moot question is whether they can raise people from the dead. I think it is that they have brought drugs from Africa, which uh, the so-called civilized world does not know about but which they will find about, perhaps eventually. 
and which produce certain effects that I we don't know about. suspended animation? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That could be. Yes. It seems, uh, I've heard that theory advanced before, I yes. suppose. Uh, Certainly there are too many cases of proven zombies to, to claim they do not arouse people who've been allegedly dead.